Hacking doors is a vital skill that all engineers should know how to do. However, hacking doors it doesn't just apply to engineers. This can apply to your syndicates. You can sometimes get stuck and need to break your own way out of a, a door. Uh, minor criminal activities. Things like that. Well, to start hacking a door, first you're going to need insulated gloves, guaranteed. You can find insulated gloves sometimes in maintenance, but your best bet is either to just be an engineer and have easy access to them, or kindly ask an engineer for them. You will also need four different tools. You'll need a screwdriver, a multi-tool, a crowbar, and wire cutters. You don't need wire cutters, but it'll help and I'll explain right now. So first I need to get some tools. You can just get some right here, just like that, take them like that. Press C to equip like normal. Can't press C to put on your belt, and I don't need the hard suit. Anyways, don't need that anymore. So next, you're going to want a door. Well, I have access to this door, so uh, there's no reason for me to hack it. But since I'm only a passenger, I'll just use this as an example. See, I can't open this door. And you can't just crowbar it open either. It, the powered motors block you. So what you must do. Step 1. Pull out your screwdriver and left click on the door. It opens up the panel, put the screwdriver away, and you're going to want to open up this UI. This is airlock control. I'm only There's only two things that matter, power and bolt. So every round, these wires will change. They will never be the same per or Every round they change, so they're never the same. So I'm just going to go through it as easy as possible. Hacking doors is quite simple once you know what you're doing. So all you need is your multi-tool and process of elimination. You take out your multi-tool and you just click on these golden buttons. So I click this one. That was the timer. Useless. Well, it's not useless, but for getting the door open, don't worry about it. So, then you go to the next one. Okay, that's important. This wire... So, what this means is every single door other than high security doors, gray will be a bolt. So you can just simply keep clicking it and keep clicking it and bolting it. And what bolting it means is that you can't open the door normally. As in, like, even somebody with access can't open the door without unbolting it. It is essential that you, you, will, you need the door to be unbolted. So, well, you could just spam click through it all like this. And look, there's no power anymore. So, just to be thorough, you just take your crowbar at this point, left click the door, and ta-da, you now have access to a door that you shouldn't have had access to. But I'll go a little bit further to explain how to be more effective at this and assume that I didn't get bolt like that. It is ideal to either get power first or bolt first, but you never want to accidentally spam click through it fast enough that you turn the power off and then get the bolt because then you have to wait for the power to come back on. So here, I'll give another example. So now I know that cyan is... Bolt, or not bolt, power, sorry. Say you mess up. You can just instantly resnip the wire and it repowers the door instantaneously. I'm not 100% sure if that's intentional, but it's been that way for a long time and I haven't seen anyone complain about it. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You're forcibly reconnecting the power wire, so it's probably intentional. But let's assume I did this way too quick, like this. Oops. Now I bolted the door. Well, can't. You'd have to wait almost like 45 seconds or something for the door to power back on. That takes forever. So as I just showed, you can simply just take your your wire cutters. This is why I recommend them. And you need gloves. Oh, actually, it only takes like 15 seconds. I thought it took longer. But anyway, you don't have to wait for that. So I'll do it again. Pulse, pulse the door off. You can just double snip it. And now you go over to your gray wire. Do that. Repulse it. And you're in again. It is actually quite simple. It's aren't any harder to hack into. Honestly, I don't know why they're called high security doors. They don't do anything. There's just more wires. But same process. Just do it slow. Oh, I'm in. See, it, it's the same thing. Just don't spam click as fast as you can. And you'll be good to go. Just to be thorough, I'm going to show you how to deconstruct a door. First, you screwdriver it again like before. Next, you open it. You pull out your wire cutter. Snip bolt last, and if you remember, gray is bolt. But you have to cut all the wires. And remember, you can always right-click and then do begin deconstruction. I'll tell you the next step. Next, you need to weld it. You could have welded it before. It doesn't really matter. But uh, not wearing eye protection will temporarily blind you, but not permanently, so don't worry about it. Then you crowbar it. 
then you crowbar it. Sorry, kind of. I actually myself forgot that it's a double crowbar. And then you simply use wire cutters. Then you unanchor it. See? Unanchor it. And then you can use a welder, or at this point, you can also just drag it away. But you can use a welder to not take up the entire floor space. But if you're, you're a syndicate or something, yeah, you don't have to worry about being all that clean. Because uh, now the door is gone. If I can find it, I am blind. Uh, that's about it. There's a few other things you could do, like intentionally electrifying doors, but this isn't a syndicate guide, really. It's just a door guide, door deconstruction and hacking guide. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody. And I might do Atmos next. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Eh, that's not relevant to this guide. Have a good one.